Hello, I'm Claire Miss Livy. I'm an orthopedic physical therapist here with Legacy Health. I teach our osteoporosis exercise class aimed at building stronger bones and improving balance. Along with medication and nutritional advice from your doctor, exercise plays a key role in improving bone density and reducing fall risk. I'm here today to demonstrate a home edition of some of the exercises to keep you and your bones strong. Now there are lots of ways to exercise and all have an important way for your health. Today, I'm gonna to show you some resistive strengthening exercises. These are the type we know put a healthy stress on our bones. All you'll need is yourself, a chair, a wall, some weights if you have them, if you don't, don't worry, you can improvise with soup cans from your kitchen. Now before we get into the exercises, I want to take a moment and emphasize the importance of maintaining proper posture. We do that by lifting the chest up. So roll your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Think about drawing your belly button closer in towards your spine and breathe. Great job. As we go through these exercises, keep thinking about maintaining this good upright posture throughout. Don't worry, I'll remind you. All right, we'll wanna take a little bit of time to warm up before we begin strengthening. I like to start with some marching in place. Remember to keep those knees high off the ground you can add in arm movement here to really get your blood pumping. Keep moving. The goal here is to get a little bit warm, so don't stop just yet. <sighs> Keep breathing. Just a couple more seconds here. All right. Next, we're gonna warm our shoulders up with some arm circles. So let's start in a forward direction. Remember to breathe here. Start small and gradually work your way up to bigger circles. When you're ready, we're gonna reverse directions. Again, we're starting small and gradually make those circles bigger and bigger. Great job. Next, we're gonna do a neck stretch. So you're gonna bring your ear towards your shoulder. Good place to breathe here. You should feel that stretch on the opposite side. And back up to center and go to the other side. All right, bring back up to center. When you're ready, you'll grab your hand weights or soup cans and meet me back here in a standing position. All right, we're gonna start our arm exercises here. Remember that good tall posture. So roll your shoulder blades back, lift the chest up, draw that belly button closer in towards the spine. We're gonna take our hand weights, bend our elbows up towards our body and back down. These don't have to be fast. Go at your own pace. I like to think about both the up and the down position. So imagine you're pushing and pulling your arms through thick mud. That way, you'll feel the muscles work both directions. Remember to breathe.
let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. The next one we're gonna do is bringing our arms straight out in front of us. Again, roll those shoulders back to start. We're gonna lift our arms to shoulder height and back down. Again, your pace, okay? If you find that both arms are a little much, you can alternate and just do one at a time. If that's too much, you can drop your weight all together and just do your arm motions. If you have good posture here, this is work with a weight or without. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. We've got one more here with arm weights. This time, we're gonna turn our palms out and lift the arms up and down, just like that. Remember, keep your posture tall. You should be squeezing your shoulder blades here. Great job, keep it up. Almost done here. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we can set our weights down and head to the wall for the last arm exercise. Here, we're gonna do a wall push-up. So you're gonna start facing the wall, arms straight, you're gonna bend close towards the wall and press strongly away, just like that. I look forward to make sure my neck is in a good position. Now, if you need to make this more challenging, try stepping farther away. That will make it harder. If it's too hard, try stepping closer and that will make it easier. Do what you need for your body. And here, we're really strong arms. We're still thinking about good posture. We're breathing. We're gonna do a couple more here. Let's do five. Four, three, two, and one. <sighs> now that we've successfully tired our arms out, let's start with some leg exercises. All right, for our first leg exercise, we're gonna start with our backs against the wall here. You're gonna step your feet out a little bit in front of you. And we're gonna slide down into a wall squat position and hold it. Good place to breathe here and back up. Now if that tended to hurt your knees, try stepping your feet out a little farther out in front of you. That way when you slide down, you won't have as much stress through your knees. These are tough ones, bear with me. And back up, shake them out a little, and head back down. Good place to still think about your posture here, all right? I'm breathing. And back up. We're gonna go down again. You should really be feeling this in your thigh muscles here, all right? We're working those pretty hard. I tend to hold these for about 10 seconds. You might find you need a little less time. Maybe you need a little more time. What I'm looking for is that you're working these muscles right through here. 
and back up. We're gonna do one more here. Good job. See how long you can hold this one for. Again, good posture. Press your back against the wall. My legs are shaking. <laughs> we can do it. Three, two, one, and back up. All right, shake those legs out. I know you need it. And then we'll head to our chair for the next exercise. All right. So we're gonna stand behind our chair for this one. This is a standing leg kick. You're gonna stand nice and tall, good posture. We're gonna kick one leg out to the side and back. Now, if this is too easy, try keeping that leg off the ground the whole time. You might notice that your standing leg is the leg that's doing most of the work here. So I want you to squeeze those thigh and butt muscles to really hold yourself upright, nice and tall here. Should start to warm that leg up just a little bit. We're gonna do five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna switch to the other side. So again, up tall, kick that leg out. Now, maybe you need two hands of support for balance on your chair. That's fine. Maybe you want a balance challenge and you try to do this exercise without holding on. Adjust these to your need. Remember to stay up tall, squeeze those leg muscles, they should be feeling pretty tired by now. We're gonna do five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, shake those legs out. We've got one more leg exercise and we're gonna be in front of our chair for this one. This is one of my favorite exercises, the sit to stand. As the name implies, we're gonna start right in front of our chair. You can have your arms crossed at your sides or out in front of you, whatever works for you. We're gonna stick our butt back, sit down just slightly in the chair and back up. The goal here is not speed, it's that you keep moving. We're gonna do this for about a whole minute. So go slow. Take your time. This is a good challenge. If this is too hard, maybe you take them smaller. Do mini squats and back up. Maybe you need to use your arms on the chair. That's fine too. My goal here is to keep you moving. And I'm right here with you, <laughs> if you can't tell. I'm getting a little winded. That's the point. <sighs> Keep it up, I'm watching that clock. Let's do five more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, <sighs> take a breather, have some water if you need it. Good job. If you have osteoporosis, one of the most important ways to protect your spine is to avoid excessive flexion or bending at the spine. The last two exercises are aimed at showing you how to keep a neutral spine during your daily activities. The first exercise is called a hip hinge exercise. We're gonna start with our feet about hips width apart and our hands behind our back. Remember, keep that chest lifted. From here, we're gonna keep our spine straight and we're gonna bend or hinge at our hip. And back up. 
These don't have to be fast. We just worked out. The importance here is that my back stays straight. I go about as far down as I start to feel a light stretch in the back of my legs. I'm gonna turn and show you from the side how my chest is lifted, my back is straight. The only movement is really coming here from my hips. Great stretch, it just feels good. Let's do just a couple more here. One more. All right, nice job. The last one we're gonna do is called a golfer's kick. Here, you're gonna hold on to the side of your chair. Now, I want you to take your, right, your left hand and reach toward your left leg. The right leg is gonna kick back up. It's gonna look like this. You can see my back is staying straight. My chest is lifted. I'm holding on to the chair for balance. Great job, just a couple more. One more. All right, and then we're gonna switch sides. So again, same hand to same foot. This is a great way to pick something up that's light off the ground without fearing bending or flexing at your spine. Let's do two more here. Great job, have some water. Thank you for sharing your time and energy with me today. You should be proud of the work you just did knowing you took a step in making your bones stronger. If you liked what you saw and are interested in coming to an in-person class, you can find more information on Legacy's website found below. For now, stay hydrated, stay strong, and keep moving.